Hello, and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen, and in this video tutorial series, we will discuss SAP HANA administration and monitoring. The topic of this video is the SAP HANA cockpit. For the administration and monitoring of SAP HANA databases, you have a number of tools at your disposal. If you have worked with earlier releases of SAP HANA, you will be familiar with the SAP HANA Studio and maybe the DBA Cockpit. Studio is a plugin for Eclipse, an open source development environment originally for Java, but today used for many languages and purposes. There are hundreds of plugins available on the Eclipse marketplace to extend its functionality, and SAP has added plugins for ABAP development, for HANA Enterprise Cloud, and much more. The DBA Cockpit is a NetWeaver-based application used often together with SAP Solution Manager, so this is standard SAP technology. New, as of support package stack 09, is the SAP HANA Cockpit. HANA Cockpit is a web-based tool for the administration and monitoring of a single SAP HANA database. In this video, we are going to take a look at the SAP HANA cockpit. I am connected here to a Windows computer and I've started an HTML5 compatible browser. As mentioned, HANA cockpit is web-based, so there's nothing to install, no Java runtime engine, no plugins, it's all pure HANA. And based on the Access Engine, the extended application services integrated in the HANA platform, so there's no ABAP involved either. And it's installed with SAP HANA as automated content, which means that it's included and updated with every installation. As you can see, the UI, or the look and feel if you prefer, is based on the new SAP user interface, SAP Fiori, with the familiar tiles arranged in groups. The homepage is customizable by modifying existing groups and creating new groups. Tiles can be removed and added from any of the available tile catalogs. This Vihana cockpit implements a role-based concept so that users only have access to those tile catalogs for which they are authorized. It requires a privileged site designer in order to be able to change the HANA cockpit, which I will show in a minute. Cockpit functions like a single point of access to the other web-based tools for the administration of SAP HANA, but also to the documentation. Here, for example, we have the SAP HANA Administration Guide, and if I click on it, it will open on a new tab. Cockpit can also be opened from the SAP HANA Studio Context menu. And here we see a new browser window. Let's take a look at the cockpit. The first tile here is Database Status. The tile provides instant feedback about the database health, services running or not, and any alerts. And when we click the tile, we get more detailed information about each service, the name server, index server, etc. Click on a link to get a pop-up window which shows you the same information. We can customize the view and select which columns we want to have included. And as you can see, there are a lot more columns available than shown on this window. Clicking the value of used memory opens the Memory Allocation Statistics app. Now let's do that for the index server. This information used to be available inside HANA Studio in a different view, but this has been removed. You can now only access this app from the cockpit. It requires the role SAP HANA admin roles monitoring, same as with SPS08, but you can also grant the administration role for the app as this contains this monitoring role. So if we return to HANA Studio and look at our user, here we have the administration role, SAP HANA admin roles administration, which is required for this information to be displayed. And this role contains the role monitoring. So you, can, you don't have to select both. You can just use monitoring uh, or the super role administrator. Site designer is the privilege required if you want to modify the look and feel of the HANA cockpit, add groups and change tiles. Available units are from bytes to terabytes. We can toggle here to get the information stored in a graph. So what kind of information do we have? We have used memory by system component, row stored tables, column stored tables, and monitoring and statistical data. And here we see that all displayed as a percentage 
of the, the total allocated memory. And then here, those are the top 10 subcomponents for the uh, items selected here above. So for system, we have our different pools, for example. And here you can drill down into the different components. Okay, I will close this window and return to our database status tile and select home. The alert app shows you all alerts with past occurrences. So here, for example, there is no database backup yet, so you get an alert on that. It's a medium alert, and the past occurrences are listed. Here you can toggle whether you want to see all alerts or the latest alert. In our case, we only have a single alert, so it's the same view. And using the gear here, you could configure the different alerts you have, for example, on the thresholds for high, medium, or low. Whether it should be scheduled or not, the email recipient of the alerts, and so on. Let's turn home. The used memory tile provides access to the memory overview app. And per host, in case of a distributed system, we get statistics on physical memory usage, memory of the different processes, tables, and so on. Again, we can select our unit, whether we want to see the detailed data or just a brief explanation. So the story goes from left to right. So here we have a total amount of 64 gig of physical memory. Most of it is not yet allocated. About 10% is reserved by the operating system. About 10% is already in SAP HANA memory pool, but it's still free. And here we have a little over 10% that is used memory. And then if we look at used memory, we'll see that most is for database management and a very small percentage, 6% in fact, is currently occupied by uh, tables. We're using here an empty uh, database, so this is uh, not a typical thing you would see in production. You'll get a completely different uh, picture, but the story is the same. And then you can see here how the memory usage of a table is. Well, we see most of it is column store, and there's a very small percentage on row store. And here we see the memory usage of the database management, which is subdivided in topics like topology, query-related, persistent, and statistics. Let's go home and select CPE usage. For example, on memory, now we see per host how CPU, memory, and disk resources are being used. And we can select here our aggregation value. Again, giving you more information about the how the SAP HANA host is running. Going back home again, if I would select disk usage, it will open up the same monitor. Um, note that not all tiles provide a drill down. For example, here we have active sessions, we have uh, running jobs, query load, and the general information. These are just information tiles. They don't link to an app behind it. And if you need more information on these topics, you would have to use the HANA Studio. If we select a number of dumps in a new window, the uh, SAP HANA web-based development workbench will open with the trace view. So there are a couple of views and here we're looking at the trace view. Here you analyze all the HANA log and trace files. Very convenient. You don't have to open a terminal session to the Linux server or servers in case of a distributed environment. You don't have to FTP the files to your desktop computer. You can analyze directly from the browser. This app requires the, uh, the trace viewer privilege or the parent role developer. So you can select either one. The developer role is more powerful and has more privileges. Uh, for example, it includes also security admin. So you wouldn't select both, you select either one, uh, depending on uh, what you want to achieve. Also important is the uh, lifecycle app, where you can manage the lifecycle of your uh, applications. And this requires a uh, lifecycle privileges. Now, if you do not have a privilege, you get the forbidden page. So in that case, it would make sense to remove the tile from the cockpit. Here we're gonna add the uh, privilege to our uh, to our user. So let's just filter on lifecycle management and we need a lifecycle manager role administrator. The other roles center in on certain tasks within this application, so they're less powerful. And execute. And if I now go back and run it once again, we see that the HANA application lifecycle management application is open. Now we haven't set this up, so there's not much information in it yet. 
you need to do some additional configuration but the point is that you can run it directly from the HANA cockpit. When installed options like dynamic tiering, smart data streaming and database control center will also add tiles to the cockpit so you can add this functionality to this single point of access. Monitoring and the SAP HANA cockpit is documented in the administration guide. Well that's it. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.